Okay, good morning. Um, this is my film for Patrick from One Yard Revolution. He was so kind, he agreed to um, look over to help me improve my next year's garden. Um, obviously, these are the strawberries, and I'm going to want them to stay right here so they can just take take over here and just develop the soil around and that's what I'd like to do. But this is it, Patrick. This is this is the I'm walking with the northeast. I'm walking northeast of the yard. And you see, this is the sun. I get the first the first morning sun. Um so this is the garden, there's the raspberries and and then this is it. So so and I'm, you know, I got the soil developed. There was, I, mean, I had planted some Brussels sprouts down along over on the edge along here, over here where I'm pointing. And I guess Brussels sprouts just need a lot of really good, even more better soil. I'm, I've been working with the soil for about three years now and I've got have used Tanio products and Dr. Earth is what I've been recently using, and of course just the Omri uh, regular fish for phosphorus. And I ordered some micronutrients, I can't think of the name right now. But anyway, this is, this is the garden. There's, look at my collars. My collars are doing really well. I've, I've been working with them. I moved them, I started them over further over on that side, over where it's it kind of empty over in there between the other collars that are standing over there. Um, the, the sweet potato yam is just doing fantastic. She's really taking off. I'm, that's, she's the blessing of the garden. And my daikon, I'm going to be digging up the daikon and getting rid of it. And this is my volunteer potato. Okay, but, but, but this is what I've got to work with. I also have a little bit of room, you know, over in the back. And I mentioned that in the last Mama Dove video that I was considering using that area for squash and cucumbers uh, next year once I but and also try the no-tilling thing I'm, I'm actually interested in trying the no-tilling I have tilled this soil right here I will say that in 2013 when it was my very first garden my kale did really good I mean I tilled it but but not really it wasn't as bad and then so but then in 2014 I didn't have any kale and none came up this year, so I'm starting to wonder. You know, I believe, I I don't know what to do about the the tilling versus the no tilling. It's kind of like the flat earth versus the round earth. Anyway, this is it. And uh, my cucumbers, I've been trying, and they're doing really well. You know, the powdery mildew got to them. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning about how to grow carrots properly. It's just. A trial and error thing. My asparagus is doing really good. There's the asparagus. See my asparagus. I have found that there's this beetle that I've been crushing when I catch it on there. That's my natural way of um, getting rid of those evil little beetles. My elderberry didn't turn out too bad. I'm gonna have to trim it back way, way back. Can't let it get that tall because of the wind. I have really gusty winds through here, Patrick. Anyway, here's them, and they're and they're recovering. You know the cucumbers. There, the powdery mildew hasn't won, um, and my beets, my kale, my red kale are, are are just are just the best. This is the most best, beautiful red kale. Love it. And my beets are doing okay. Only one bean plant survived the rust attack. That was what was going on with my uh, my carrots. The bean, the bean plant right there. Um, anyways, that's the that's that's what I'm asking for help with, Patrick. What? What kind of ideas? And there's the raspberries. They're the beautiful, Patrick. This is the one blessing I got here. Uh, I've got lots of blessings. I shouldn't be like that anyway. But this is just, I love these raspberries. They are just, they're the most beautiful. I don't know what kind of raspberry they are. I did have some, I think I bought some Anne's, Queen Anne. And, and the one Queen Anne, they didn't do well. I guess because these others might be stronger. Who knows? Maybe you got a reason why they didn't. They might be kind of fussy. Things are fussy, you know, when they're new. But uh, anyway, I really appreciate everything, um, Patrick, that you do in your videos. Oh, I don't know if you can see the little bunny sitting over there behind the back of my truck. Little bunny. She's sitting right out over over there. 
They got lots of background music with the owls. I don't get to finish with a beautiful guitar strum. But anyways. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, I just got up. Take care, man.